on high now, we're at Wet n Wild. We'll introduce you to the latest attractions and find out how you can live it up VIP style in your own private cabana. Plus, check out the latest traveling exhibit that's fun for the entire Ohana. This and more right now on High Now. Welcome to High Now Weekend, I'm Kano Carlson. And I'm Rachel Picard. We're so happy to be celebrating under the sun that Independence Day weekend right here at Wet and Wild Hawaii. And I haven't been here in so long. I haven't good. been here since like last week. <laughs> I, I know, love this love place. We, we come all the time, but right now we're standing in their newest attraction. This is Low Kahuna Beach, but don't let the name fool you. This place, fun for the whole family. That's right. I'm loving the shallow pools because you can let your kids run wild right here uh, at like Wet that. and Wild Hawaii. Yeah, that's right. And during this episode, we're going to be living that cabana life. We're going to be showing you what's new with the park. They got dive-in movies. They got cabanas. They bring food straight to you. It's like a VIP experience. That's right. I can't wait to eat because I heard they got all the grinds up in their kitchen. They're going to bring it out for us. So we're going to order up and then, of course, soak up the sun. I can't wait. That's right. But first, we got to go in the Shaka. Shaka right, Tornado. Shaka. Shaka, right. tornado. Shaka. Shaka. Come on. Let's we're doing go. it all. We'll see you guys soon. Hi, now we're enjoying summertime out here in beautiful Hawaii. So we're at Wet n Wild. We're here with Eddie Galdones. This is the place to be this summer. Eddie, what's new with Wet n Wild? Tell us. Well, as you can see, we're standing behind our newest attraction, Little Kahuna Beach. It's over 8,000 square footage of fun for the entire family, featuring over 60 water features, tipping bucket, and more slides for everyone to enjoy. Open to all ages, you know, not only for the little kids, but people um, ADA compliant. So over the weekend, we opened up this ride, and I was watching a father and his little girl who is a little person, and just seeing his reaction and the daughter's reaction and playing in this area made us, the water park operator, feel good that we did something, not only for the little kids, but for other people in the community as well. That's what I love about Wet n Wild. It really is, it's Ohana vibes over it here. Is, it brings everybody yeah. together. When you're walking around, birthday parties, because people can have that here too, right? You know, over the past couple of years, our birthday parties have increased. And so one of the demands that we're, we're getting from our customers, we need more space. And so we've added additional party areas for people to come and celebrate birthday parties. Because, you know, you, at the past two years, you couldn't. Now people want to get out and celebrate birthday parties more so than ever and place additional party areas all throughout the park. They can easily hold from 50 up to 200. As Wet n Wild continues to innovate, you guys are always looking for different ways to do things. Let's talk about the dive-in movies, because those are awesome. So just recently, the park has installed an LED screen right at the way pool. So now we can show movies in bright daylight, whereas before, we were challenged. And then when it comes to the movie list, all that's available uh, online, right? And how do people get tickets for that? It comes with the park pass, right? It is. So the best part is to get a season pass. You pay once, and you get unlimited visit and access to all movie nights. All year long, you can go online at wetandwildhawaii.com and get your season pass. It's the best deal. You pay once and you get, and it pays for itself. And Eddie, I can't let you go without talking about the cabanas. The cabanas, uh, there's a new look with that as well. I mean, it's a different feeling when you're at Wet n Wild. It is, you know, taking up that park experience to another level. Customer have been demanding is more private space. And so we have built additional cabanas all throughout the park. It's your home base for the day. 
And one great thing about this cabana is the uh, service that you get. You can order food on your mobile device and get, get it delivered to you. So no more standing in line in the, um, at the Windjammer food cart. You can just sit at your cabanas and you know wait for the food to come and watch, watch your kids play in the water. If people want to come down, they want to reserve a cabana, uh, they want to get a season pass, how do they do it? Where do they go? They can go online, their desktop or mobile device at wetandwildhawaii.com. Follow us on social media for the deals. Today on High Now, we're back at Revolution on Hawaii's number one solar installation company. We got Eric Carlson with us. How you doing? How's it? Good Always to see good you. to see you. Yeah. We're going to jump right into it. Now, as we know, solar, it's a major investment for homeowners, anyone thinking about uh, moving forward with a project like this. The price has gradually come down over the years. Why is it important that people really look into it? It is a significant investment. Aside from buying your home, it's probably one of the largest investments you'll make in your home. But really need to think about what it is you get out of this investment in solar. One, you're getting a lifetime of electricity for a fraction of the cost. Two, it automatically increases the value of your home. Three, now with solar and batteries, as we see this kind of global weirding weather pattern, you have resilience now for you and your loved ones. And four, hot real estate markets that like we're in right now, homes with solar, they sell faster and at a higher price than comparable homes without solar. There are subsidies that help with that significant investment. Now, I want to talk a little bit about uh, tax incentives that are included as well. I think there's the state and the federal. There's two, right? Break right. that down for us. Yeah, so there's two. So there is a state tax credit that currently is at 35% of the overall system cost. And then we have a federal tax credit that's currently at 26%. Those are a deduction uh, on what you would normally pay on your taxes. So like say for example, $1,000, you would get a tax deduction on what you owe. Right. So you get your total system costs, you get 30% federal tax credit, and then you get the 26% the tax credit, and then the 35% state tax credit, and you apply that to the, your total system costs and your net cost is significantly lower. Now that's important information because when it comes to the tax incentives, especially with the percentages as they continue to change, that increases demand, right? The federal tax credit used to be a 30% federal tax credit and it was that way for a long time. It recently stepped down, so this year we're at 26%. At the end of this year, it drops down to 22%. Every time we have this reduction in the tax credit, we see a huge demand, which is why I feel like we've been trying to encourage your viewers, giving them reasons like this is the year to go solar. We're halfway through the year. The tax credits are dropping down. We'll be leaving essentially 4% right on the table if you wait till next year. If you're thinking about it, now is the time to go. We want to help as many people as we can but there are only so many calendar days in the year and there's only so many jobs we can do. We have these lofty goals. Hawaii was the first state in the country to, to have a 100% clean energy goal. Now, if people want to get more information and they want to schedule an appointment, a consultation with you guys, what's the best way to do so? They can visit us online, revolution.com, or they can call us at 808-748-8888. We just did one day world. We started off with a tornado. I mean, we went big. We went big. It's lunchtime, baby, and they've got some awesome grinds. And the cool part is about getting the cabana, the whole process, wet and wild app, scan the QR code, skip the lines oh, at the wind yeah. You know, it, it builds up quick. But right now, we have some awesome grinds. I think up. Uh, Pizza fries, there's furikake fries, and there's honey barbecue, barbecue chicken action. I know, you've been eyeing it ever since they brought it, man. And then <laughs> we've got, got some quesadillas over here. It looks like a pizza quesadilla. And then we've got palupe quesadilla. Just look at this. Oh, man, that yeah. is... It ain't easy being cheesy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for is you it is, though. It is. <laughs> oh. These oh pizza fries God. are awesome. It's like a mini pizza party. How's the, how's the quesadilla? So good. Very cheesy, yeah. like you said. I love it. Pepperoni. And the kids will love it, too. Also, I got the uh, honey barbecue chicken plate. And what I love about this is portions. This is local brown sizes. It's two scoops rice and the corn. And they don't skip on the chicken. Oh, my Super God. Super tasty, and they give you plenty. OK, but what is that one right there? Mm. Next to you, I want some of that. Furikake fries, this is great. When you're with the family, the kids go nuts for this one. Okay, here, a little bit healthier option right here, a little salad. And this is the barbecue chicken? Yep, honey barbecue. 
Mm. A chicken's mm. tasty, yeah. Mm. <laughs> this is a salad I can do, and it has these little crunchies. I think we're gonna be here all day. But that's all right, because when you get the cabana, you can be here all day. And again, like Eddie said, they built many cabanas. They kind of added on to the cabana fleet that they had over here previously. Yeah. So, I mean, they got them all over the place, and I'm telling you, this is the way to do it. Once you go to the cabana, I really, I really don't see myself going back to just sitting out there in the hot sun like this. This is so perfect. I'm telling you, the cabana is awesome. They bring the food to you. You got shade, and you get it for the entire day that you're here. Uh, I'm gonna just continue grinding. This is good stuff. Okay, we're gonna polish this off. Then we're gonna sit back, relax, enjoy the cabana life. Then hit the ride one more time right here, wet and wild Hawaii. Stick around. Today on High Now, we're at Lilia Waikiki in the beautiful Waikiki, of course. I'm sitting here with the Senior Vice President of Development with Brookfield Properties, Chris Hui. How are you doing today? Hi, Rachel. Nice to see you here. Tell me all about this mixed-use community here. Lilia Waikiki is the first all-rental mixed-use development in Waikiki in decades. Uh, we're super proud and happy to be a part of this legacy land with Queen Emma Land Company as the landowner. Years ago when the property became available, we were selected by Queen Emma Land Company to be the developer of some rental housing. The goal was to basically bring housing for people to live as well as recreate a long-term income stream that serves the Queen's hospital system. We created housing for the community along with bringing back the grocery store with food pantries, Waikiki Market, as well as uh, creating a new lifestyle for a lot of people to live and enjoy Waikiki. Uh, we have started taking applications about a month ago and leasing is really strong. One block from the Duke statue, the birthplace of surfing, some would say the most iconic beach in the world. You have Kapilani Park, you have all the retail, food, beverage, hotels, entertainment, there's just so much going on. Then of course you guys have these phenomenal rooms. I want to make sure that we get a chance to check those out. Yeah, I would love to show you what we have. We have studios, one, two, and three bedroom units uh, ranging throughout our 28-story building. Let's go. Come on in. This is our one bedroom. It's just under 700 square feet. Really a contemporary, uh, modern design. Uh, we have panelized fridges, stainless steel appliances, really cool sink that has a lot of functionality with cutting boards. And ultimately, as you look, it's very spacious. You know, living in Waikiki, when you kind of think about what you want to come home to, this is what we did. So it's very convenient because if you can just bring your phone and if you don't want to bring your phone and you're at the beach, then you can just use a code and ultimately you don't have to bring a key. This is a thousand square feet, two bedroom. Um, what's cool about this one is it's a corner unit, and so when you get to all the corners, everything is full height, floor to ceiling glass. Whoa, this, and it makes it look even bigger, right? Because you're just like looking out. And of course, you got a balcony over here. Yeah, Lanai's on every floor. Every unit comes with a balcony. This is the penthouse. Come on in, check it out. Whoa! I was not expecting this. The ceilings, the view. Wow, Both it's with huge. Ceilings. You have basically a wrap corner over here. You have views of Diamond Head and the ocean and the Alawai Golf Course. So there's a wrap around Lanai. We have 12 foot ceilings, window treatments. Everything is wood flooring, upgraded finishes. Perfect for entertaining, 16 foot island. We have a huge living room space and dining room space. Expansive views. <laughs> Brought to you by Brookfield Properties. Anaha means reflection of light. Envisioned by leading architects and interior designers, every space within Anaha is an expression of grace, elegance, and innovation. Before we head upstairs to check out the unit, let's catch up with Sandy Lau Street Side for a walk around Ward Village. Ward Village offers a beautiful tree-lined shopping district with local designer boutiques. And here on Oahe Street, just steps away from your front door, a range of casual to upscale dining options. Yeah, there really is something for everybody down here at the Ward Village area. It's families, it's young professionals, but something for everyone down here. Yes, this central plaza has a great energy and future plans for the area include an expanded park and elevated walkways. So much happening over here in Ward Village, but I'm ready to head inside and check out the amenities. I have an idea for you to get an edge on your golf game. Okay, this room is awesome. This is the golf simulator room here at Anaha, one of many amenities that's included. And for a look at the rest, we're gonna head down the hall and catch up with Sandy. Let's go. We're here in the library on the Ocean View seventh floor amenity deck. And you also find a putting green, children's playroom, 
movie theater, dog park, and residents can even enjoy a complimentary cup of coffee in the common lounge. And where we're sitting right now, this might be uh, one of the most uh, favorite spots in terms of the amenities. It is. Now, it is right? the best amenity of all. Imagine throwing a spur of the moment party, hiring a chef, you have an ocean view, outdoor space, and even a fully equipped chef's kitchen tucked behind the scenes. Now it's time for a look at the unit, and for that we're going to head upstairs to catch up with Travis. Travis, as soon as you walk into this unit, the first thing I see is this view. It's incredible. It's floor to ceiling. Tell us about yeah, it. Yeah, right, and this view of Alamona Beach Park and iconic Diamond Head. You're able to see fireworks. You're able to see the boats on Friday afternoons go out anchor offshore, kind of reminiscent of the French Riviera. What's happening inside the unit? This home was designed by renowned Shelley David of Complete Island Homes. She and our owner hand in hand curated an environment that promotes peace, tranquility, and inspiration. Like this wall covering mural by award-winning atelier, Philip Jeffries. What's going on over here? Yeah, so this guest bathroom, from floor to ceiling, hand-picked mother of pearl, true mother of pearl. Travis, and right around the corner from here, this is the primary bedroom. So the first thing that pops out to me is this riveted wallpaper. A lot of straight lines, a lot of dark colors, right? It really exudes masculinity and strength. So we'll take a look at this. <laughs> Travis, this has been an awesome tour. Now, if people want to get more information about the unit, what's the best way to do that? You can reach out to us on email, Travis McGoy at locationshawaii.com or Sandy Lau at locationshawaii.com. Brought to you by Locations. Today on High Now, I've got Vicki Cayetano, a successful businesswoman and former first lady here in Hawaii. To add to that list, gubernatorial candidate for the race for governor this year. The campaigning is all about getting out there to the communities, listening, learning from them, and knowing the, the key issues. We all know about the same problems that politicians have talked about for so long, and we not only have not resolved it, but many of them have gotten worse. While there are many issues, one of the top issues is affordable housing. Because whether you're talking about diversifying economy, attracting businesses to come here or to grow here, you can't do that if people can't afford to live in Hawaii. And I've really broken it down to three things. One is called rent to own. For many first time homeowners, the biggest challenge for them is coming up with the down payment. So under rent to own in their lease with the state over a 25 or 28 year period, they would then take title to the house itself. And then there's designated workforce housing. While every position is uh, important in Hawaii, there are three really urgent ones we must fill. And they are first responders, educators, and healthcare personnel. So housing that's targeted just for them in order to stem the tide of, of personnel in these positions leaving us. And the last uh, component, which has a lot of promise, is simply affordable rental. So those are key components of my uh, housing, affordable housing plan. With any idea, there may be some challenges. Well, I think there are two challenges. Uh, one is that we must not forget our promise to homesteaders through the Department of Hawaiian Homelands. One of the challenges for them is not being able to qualify for a mortgage. So what I would do is look to having the state be the guarantor. The second issue that applies not only to housing but to everything is the bureaucracy in our state government. And that is something that I want to bring my business background, common sense you know, approach to resolving some of this bureaucracy so we can expedite affordable housing. That is definitely one of the big problems to uh, our plan. Why you over any other candidate that's in the race? My opponents have been in politics for years now and uh, they've had a chance to do certain things, but really the problems that we've lived with, homelessness, crime, affordable housing, all these issues have only gotten worse. I know we need a leader who has a different mindset and the, a different uh, skill set to bring to this position. And as governor, I'm my experience of 34 years uh, is what I'm going to apply to bring a successful administration to the state of Hawaii. Center giving you a behind the scenes look at a brand new immersive experience. It's a lot of fun, but guys, we got a mission, right? We are on the search for Snoopy. Let's go find him.
We are here with Lucy Treadway, the executive producer of the Search for Snoopy, a peanuts adventure. I'm just living on my childhood dreams in here, Lucy. This is so I exciting. I know. It's like to touch everything. To pick it up. All the, the pencils. Yeah. It's great, right? Yeah. It is. It's a lot of fun. We're so excited. This is not just your average immersive experience. You really get involved. There's even a scavenger hunt as well. Right. Yes. You will come into the world of Charlie Brown, Snoopy, your favorite characters, and you will get to be a part of the world. In each room, there are different activities and fun surprises. Yes. that you will find. Well, let's start with where we are, right? Okay. We're in the beloved classroom. Yes. We have these two microphones. This is a child's microphone. When the children speak into that microphone, you're going to be able to hear what they're saying clearly. When you talk into the adult microphone, it's going to be like wah, wah, wah. Oh my God, yes. that's so much fun. <laughs> One might think it's just for kids. They did some really clever clues for the older kids and possibly adults to yes. find Snoopy. You folks have really turned it up a notch, and there's actually an app that people can use to help them navigate, right? Yes. See, Snoopy Scope app is going to be something additional, so you don't have to have the app to come and enjoy all the search for Snoopy and get the clues. But if you want that extra level of fun, extra clues, you'll want to use the app. And I think for Auntie Lacey and even Auntie Lucy, we're very excited <laughs> to meet some new friends, possibly. Maybe. Should we go check them out? Yes. Let's go take a look. Okay. We found our friends here. We've got Lucy, we've got Snoop, we've got Charlie Brown. They've only been here for a few short days, but they've already mastered the shaka. Show them what you got. There <laughs> you go. And Lucy, they've been really busy while well, here in Hawaii. They've already got their Hawaii-inspired merch. That's right. After you are finished with your really fun adventure, you will exit it out into a small retail shop where you can find all of your favorite Hawaii-inspired Snoopy and Peanuts Gang retail t-shirts, cups, hats, lots of fun stuff. Where can people go for those tickets and to find more information? Search for Snoopy.com. We are selling out. We are opening today at 1 o'clock. We are offering a Kama Aina discount. We will be open on Monday, 4th of July. So a really fun uh, experience, 4th of July. Bring your family, bring your friends, do this interactive adventure, and then watch the fireworks from the beautiful Ala Moana Center. What an awesome day. Big mahalo to Wet n Wild Hawaii for having us. Are you up? No. Are you awake? I had so much fun today. <laughs> and this cabana is just making me want to fall asleep. Now, Kanak attack after all that food I ate. I know. Ate. The food was awesome. The rides was awesome. What was your favorite ride? I would have to say the tornado because I hadn't known that one before. It was so cool. Coming in, whoosh, whoosh, all over the place. I tried for a second to let go my hat. Big mistake, I almost flew off, so I gotta hang on. I know, that was awesome. The tornado is epic, it's got that great drop. Speaking of epic, this cabana was awesome all day, right? Clutch right here. All you have to do is scan your phones on that QR code right there, and then you can order food from, what is the... Um, Windjammer Kitchen, and for Wind anyone, Jammer. like, we come to the water park all the time, that line gets backed up quick, right. man. So you can skip the line, get a cabana, scan the QR code, they bring the food to you, and you get the cabana for the whole day, and you have the, the rafts that are here. You know, a lot of times you gotta wait for those. Oh man, this come is- Come with the cabana. This is top notch right here. You gotta just come order a cabana. Living the life right here, eating all the grinds. I love the RJ out here, wet and wild pool. It's so fun. That's right. So beat the heat this summer. Come down and check them out. Happy 4th of July. For Richard Bukar, I'm Kano Carlson. We'll see you guys Monday morning. Aloha.
Today on High Now, we're on stage at the Waikiki Shell. We're catching up with Hawaii's brightest stars performing for the big show, Home in the Island. Home in the Island. Plus, we're checking out some of the best grinds at Market City Shopping Center. This and more right now on High Now. to you from the Waikiki Ooh. Shell because there's an awesome concert going on tonight. It's called Home in the Islands and we're a little early. I think, I think we are. We're, we're a little bit early. But we got the best seats. We have the best seats. We're front row. We're front and center and that's yep. because Home in the Islands is going to be an awesome concert that's going down tonight. It's featuring some of Hawaii's best musicians, uh, legends in the industry, the young up and coming Hawaii music artists. It's going to be epic. And Rachel got the lucky assignment. She got to <laughs> catch up with Henry Capono and talk story a little bit about what's going down tonight. Take a look. Friends, friends, friends. I'm so honored. Y'all just called me your friend. So excited to be here with you guys. Iconic musicians and entertainers here in Hawaii. We're at the beautiful Waikiki Shell. We've got Red Bee, we've got Tavana, Henry Capono, Alex Kawakami, and we've got Kalai Parish because there's an incredible concert that's coming up June 18th right here, Waikiki Shell. You gotta tell us all about the Home in the Islands concert. Well, it's not only a concert, it's actually getting people to come to come together and 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 be together and, and you know it's like unity and uniting, coming again. After all we've been through, you know, I think it's good a good time for us to celebrate being together and having a good time together. And I can already tell it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be packed, I'm sure, because everybody's so talented. Tell me about who's gonna be at this concert. Uh, well, let me um, get this out and uh... <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's gonna be at this concert. <laughs> Everybody. We got Kalapana, uh, Robert Casimiro, Keola Beamer, Jerry Santos, Maka Sons, Ledra Kalapana, Amy Hanaya Lee, Naleo Pili Mehana, Brother Nolan, Rovi Kahakalao, Kapena, Kimi A. Minor, Ana V, Kalae Parish, Tavana and introducing Red Beat. All right, all the greats. It's gonna be an incredible concert, but of course, it's about raising money as well. So we're gonna move over to Alex Kawakami, a board member with Henry Capono Foundation. Yeah, well this concert, uh, $1 from each ticket and also 25% of the proceeds are gonna to go to the Henry Capono Foundation. And uh, our mission is really to empower and support the music industry here to help everybody thrive. And one of the biggest programs we were able to do, uh, we did the We Are Friends uh, COVID relief program, which uh, we were able to give away $200,000 worth of Foodland gift cards to uh, around 350 uh, people in the music industry, not just live musicians, but everybody who supports us. Like, you know, here at The Shell, you have lighting, you have sound, everybody. We developed a music, uh, music tools, which is uh, specifically for musicians who are having trouble figuring out how to navigate through, uh, you know, royalties and ev everything in one place uh, to make it easier for musicians, which is really cool. We're now moving into uh, developing more programs and grants and helping musicians in other ways, and this concert is gonna be a huge reason uh, why we're able to do that moving forward. Scan the QR code that's on the screen right now. You can get all the information there. And I can't wait for this exciting concert, Home in the Islands, June 18th, 5.30 p.m., nonstop entertainment all the way until 10 p.m. It's gonna be a long time together. And the best is yet to come. Brought to you by Capono Incorporated and these fine sponsors. Anaha means reflection of light. Envisioned by leading architects and interior designers, every space within Anaha is an expression of grace, elegance, and innovation. Before we head upstairs to check out the unit, let's catch up with Sandy Lao Streetside for a walk around Ward Village. Ward Village offers a beautiful tree-lined shopping district with local designer boutiques. And here on Oahe Street, just steps away from your front door, a range of casual to upscale dining options. Yeah, there really is something for everybody down here at the Ward Village area. It's families, it's young professionals, but something for everyone down here. Yes, this central plaza has a great energy and future plans for the area include an expanded park, 
and elevated walkways. So much happening over here in Ward Village, but I'm ready to head inside and check out the amenities. I have an idea for you to get an edge on your golf game. Okay, this room is awesome. This is the golf simulator room here at Anaha, one of many amenities that's included. And for a look at the rest, we're going to head down the hall and catch up with Sandy. Let's go. We're here in the library on the Ocean View 7th floor amenity deck. And you also find a putting green, children's playroom, movie theater, dog park, and residents can even enjoy a complimentary cup of coffee in the common lounge. And where we're sitting right now, this might be uh, one of the most uh, favorite spots in terms of the amenities. It is, now, it is right? the best oh. amenity of all. Imagine throwing a spur of the moment party, hiring a chef, you have an ocean view, outdoor space, and even a fully equipped chef's kitchen tucked behind the scenes. Now it's time for a look at the unit, and for that we're gonna head upstairs and catch up with Travis. Travis, as soon as you walk into this unit, the first thing I see is this view. It's incredible, it's floor to ceiling. Tell us about yeah, it. Yeah, right, and this view of Alamana Beach Park and iconic Diamond Head. You're able to see fireworks, you're able to see the boats on Friday afternoons go out, anchor offshore, kind of reminiscent of the French Riviera. What's happening inside the unit? This home was designed by renowned Shelley David of Complete Island Homes. She and our owner, hand in hand, curated an environment that promotes peace, tranquility, and inspiration. Like this wall covering mural by award-winning atelier, Philip Jeffries. What's going on over here? Yeah, so this guest bathroom, from floor to ceiling, hand-picked mother of pearl. True mother of pearl. Travis, and right around the corner from here, this is the primary bedroom. So the first thing that pops out to me is this riveted wallpaper. A lot of straight lines, a lot of dark colors, right? It really exudes masculinity and strength. So we'll take a look at this. <laughs> Travis, this has been an awesome tour. Now, if people want to get more information about the unit, what's the best way to do that? You can reach out to us on email, travismagoy at locationshawaii.com or sandylau at locationshawaii.com. Brought to you by Locations. Aloha and welcome back to High Now Weekend. We're at the Waikiki Shell. Rachel and I hanging out with some of Hawaii's best as we get ready for the Home in the Islands concert going down tonight. And we want to hear from you guys. I want to start with you, girl. How exciting is it for you to be coming here and playing on this stage in front of all these people and amongst all the hottest oh entertainment? My gosh, I am so, 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 so excited. I mean, to be singing on a stage with Henry Kono, all the greats that I've grown up listening to is just absolutely like crazy amazing and to be performing on in Waikiki Shell is just like it's just it's a dream it's you really need a, a dream can you <laughs> like, yeah, I need to snap me back myself back into reality I can't believe this is real I'm just I'm so excited uh, yeah I'm so inspired by you your love for music and for the islands and the people and I can always just feel it whenever I'm just talking to you and just I'm just so excited to share the music tonight. I mean, I get nervous interviewing Henry Capono. I can't imagine singing <laughs> next to Henry Capono. <laughs> oh, she'll knock him out. Yep, that's right. And then we've also got Tavana. Tell us about how, how, it's, how it's been for you and being able to perform tonight. What yeah, are we going to get? I'm, I'm excited. This is going to be my second time being able to uh, be featured with Henry at the Shell. And people don't understand the energy that happens at these Shell shows with Henry and his friends is particularly amazing because the camaraderie backstage with all of these guys, we all know each other, and we're just back there, we're cracking up, we're talking story, and we get to all get on stage and jam, and the energy from the crowd, it's just magic happens here at these shows. So I'm just, I'm so excited, and you guys should be excited too, so. Yeah, yeah I'm it. ready. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then now let's go move over to Kala'e Parish. You are so entertaining. I always watch you on your Instagram, watching oh, all of your home. videos, you and your honey. So tell me about what's going to be happening, what we're going to be listening to tonight. I get to share one of my original songs. Um, actually, the song that I just uh, was on my EP that I won on Nohoku for, my first Nohoku. Woo! Along with all these Congratulations. other amazing artists. Um, it's, 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 it's fun and it's, it's such an honor to be sharing a stage with Henry Kopono along with other great 
musical artists that we've all grown up listening to, and, and that alone is, is special, and I'm very much looking forward to it. That's right, you gonna be wearing those boots tonight? I'm always wearing my boots. That's right. Party over. Yeah. Yeah. He's coming in on a horse. Oh, yeah. 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 And performing on top. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Alex, I wanna trans uh, transition over to you really quickly. Uh, for a lot of people, uh, maybe this is their first time getting a chance to sing and be around Henry and, and, and be in that atmosphere, but that's not the case for you. you. You've performed with him many times. Tell us a little bit about the history with you and Henry, and it, it goes back a while, right? Uh, back in 2015, I was living in LA, and he called me and uh, asked if I wanted to jump on stage with him at Coach House. And so uh, I went down there, picked a C&K song, and I thought it was with his whole band. But it was just with Henry alone. <laughs> Not nerve-wracking at all. Oh, for sure. I, 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 Times I, a thousand. Yeah, it was, I was sweaty. <laughs> but uh, we played the, the songs and, and it was amazing. And it started this journey with Henry of the songs of CNK, which we're going to feature tonight, which we do the CNK songs, how they were on the album back in the day. And it, every time we play it, no matter how many times it's been, it gives me chicken skin. Oh, that's awesome. And then Henry, we, we gotta get something for you before, before we let you go. How does it feel uh, for you? You're a legend in this industry. You've seen artists come, you've seen them go. How, how does it feel to be on the stage uh, with these well, artists? I think first of all, I, I just feel good about the respect I get. And um, I just uh, feel good about being able to share my knowledge and my music and my the way I feel about music, uh, it's always been my passion since I was, since I started playing the guitar. And um, just, you know, being around these guys and, and learning from them, it's just really uh, gratifying for me, you know, to just uh, be in their presence and, you know, be able to help, you know, help out any way I can, so. And by getting them to, uh, together, all together, wow. It's amazing. That's right, it is amazing. And we're gonna get a chance to hear from everybody coming up later in the show. Don't go anywhere, Rachel and I are here at the Waikiki Show. We're back with more after this. 30 to 40% of their electricity costs every month come from the water heater. Today on High Now, we're catching up with Hawaii Energy to get some energy and money saving tips. There's many different ways you can tackle your water heating. Um, we always say at Hawaii Energy, water heating is the biggest place to start and the most impactful. Um, so starting at the most cleanest and greenest way, it's solar water heating powered by the sun. For some people that doesn't often make a lot of sense if, you know, depending where you live or maybe even financially, we always say anything above a standard electric resistance water heater is going to be more efficient and save you energy. Getting into a new sort of technology, we talk about heat pump hybrid water heaters. Those are sort of an in-between. Um, they're a really cool way to save energy. Not a lot of people know about them too much now, so we're kind of here to talk about them today. Heat pumps are actually really ideal for the Hawaii climate because they use hot ambient air from outside the tank and they pull it in to heat the water. Um, so they actually will expel a lot of cool air, kind of like a refrigerator in reverse. So cool your space as well as heating your water at a much uh, lower power rate. Um, Energy Star certified heat pump water heaters will save you about 70 percent in comparison to a standard electric water heater so that's really big savings on your electricity bill as well okay right now we are joined by jennifer ignacio she is a homeowner out here in mililani you have one of these heat pump water heaters how has it been uh, beneficial since putting it in absolutely it's been extremely energy efficient compared to our really old uh inefficient electric resistance water heaters so our first month bill went down about 30 percent after putting in the new water heater uh, and how has it been? Uh, this is a different process, right, in terms of what's happening. Can you kind of just give us an idea of what's taking place since this has been here? It's, it feels the same to us as homeowners. When we want hot water, it's there. Um, it operates a little bit differently. It puts out a lot of cold air, so we did have to install some movers in the doors just to have the, the airflow. So that was the only thing that was really different for us. Um, and then it does require a condensate drain, so we just had to run the pipe to, to the drain to make sure the condensate drains properly. If someone was watching this right now and they were thinking, uh, or they're in the market for a water yeah. heater, they're debating on whether or not they should or they shouldn't get one, what would your recommendation be? How has it been for you? I would definitely say yes, especially if you want to have a smart home. So the new models do have smart home capabilities. They also have grid connected capabilities. So if you have some of the newer models, um, the heat pump water heater, you can participate in HECO's uh, grid services program uh, for demand response and for energy balancing. Well, a lot of times people are like, I don't think about my water heater until it's broken, right? Until an emergency. 
the biggest thing in your home that you use, a lot of times it's going to be that hot water because using it for cooking, using it for laundry, for shower, that's the easiest way to be green in your home if you really want to make a big impact. Brought to you by Hawaii Energy. This week, as we celebrate and appreciate our nurses, we send a special note of aloha to the dedicated staff at Navi in Hawaii who have impacted the lives of so many. Hi, my name is Chantel Cruz. I'm an admissions nurse with Navi in Hawaii. There's no typical day for an admissions nurse to meet with families and give them education on our services here at Navi in. I love helping families and seeing the relief they get when they know that we have a care team coming in to help them keep their loved one at home. For the patient's families, I hope that they find strength in themselves because here at Navian, whether we provide supportive care or hospice services to them, the caregivers are ultimately the ones providing that 24-hour care. We are the support system. Knowing that they have us to call should be a relief to them. I'm Tiffany Merrick, the patient care manager. My job is special because I am able to support our staff that are out there caring and serving our patients and families. I'm able to help them with providing education for them. I'm able to go out in the field alongside our care team, our nurses, our aides, our spiritual counselors, our social workers, and be able to support the patients and families alongside with them and see all of the important work that they do. Our care team is able to support the physical needs of the patient, spiritual, social, emotional needs. Whatever the patient's needs are, we coordinate how to get that patient their goal. If they want to go from a facility and they want to be at home for their final days, we're gonna do whatever it takes. My name is Christina Cordray and I'm a nurse practitioner. Navi and Hawaii style of care is holistic and team-based. Oftentimes, issues that come up in end-of-life care or integrated care are not medical in nature. So fortunately, we have a team of social workers and chaplains who are experts at solving these kinds of issues. I want every patient to feel comfortable and heard. Oftentimes, in end-of-life care, it can be scary and you don't always have the ability to speak for yourself. So a lot of what we do is to make sure that you're getting your wishes. Brought to you by Navi in Hawaii. Aloha and welcome to another edition of Check Out and Take Out. That's right, and this time we're checking out a few shops at Market City Shopping. That's right, and they got so much variety over there, and right now we're gonna start with Earl. And if you didn't know, Earl, E-A-R-L, actually stands for Eat a Real Lunch. Rachel, did you know that? I had no idea, but now I know. I'm telling you, it is good stuff. Market City's got one, and among the most popular sandwiches they got, they got the French dip, this thing got steak, roasted garlic mayo, chimichurri, all the good stuff. The Cubano, which is also really, really yummy. In Italian, in, well, with the Coca Cola and the ham. What I really like about Earl is they have so many options. They have meat, they have vegetarian and vegan options. So no matter who you're with, they got a sandwich for everyone. Okay, but how about those fries? They have this crinkle cut fries, jalapeno ranch fries, and bacon and cheese fries. That sounds so good. Sounds up your alley too, right? Yes, yeah, sauce all over everything. Fries, my favorite. Definitely. And they got the Philly cheesesteaks too. So make sure you check out Earl. It's good stuff. That's right. And next up, we've got Mezzo Bistro and Bar offering a flavorful American Italian fusion fare in the cozy setting reminiscent of a modern wine cellar. Um, pasta, wine, sign me up, sign us up. Exactly, they had me at wine cellar <laughs> and the best part I think is the happy hour that they have on the weekends 2 to 5 p.m. You're going to get $3 beers, $6 wine Wait, specials. One more time, $3 beers? Yes, $3 beers. For you, Kainoa. <laughs> and then, of course, the $6 wine specials for me, but they've got everything. You're going to see the dinner menu highlighting pizzas, appetizers, salads, as well as the daily dinner specials that incorporate the season's best locally sourced ingredients. Always you really, important. yeah, you can't go wrong with that. But I mean, it's a perfect place to relax, unwind, meet up with some friends, share some drinks and plates, and just really have a good time. They also do uh, catering, so you can have them for your big event. 
so I good. I like that. All right, Mezzo Bistro and Bar. I'll put that one on the list. Also add this one to the list. This place is called Fun Station. Also what we call High Now. High Now yeah, is like the no, Fun, fun Station, Fun Station, right? there you go. Now, Fun Station is a new restaurant. It opened in December of 2021. It specializes in Chinese, quote, fun noodle dishes uh, and cuisine. And the Fun Station gets its name, again, from the noodles that are served from chow fun, to look fun, to just have fun. <laughs> All kind of noodles over there. You get them, kind of. <laughs> yeah, they've got everything there. Their signature seafood look fun in soup features generous servings of succulent lobster, mm. abalone, squid, octopus, choy sum. That sounds so yummy. Oh, definitely. And a first in Hawaii special, flying noodles suspended from floating chopsticks above a very flavorful sauce. I mean, it's like dinner and a show you can't go wrong. So if you're in the mood for sandwiches, some Italian, or just some fun, make sure you check out Market City Shopping Center. That's right, and also head over to HainaDaily.com and check out the checkout and takeout section, so ono. We're speaking with Dr. Corey Liao from Hawaii Pacific Neuroscience. Doctor, let's get right into it. The FDA recently approved a new drug called Adahem. Can you tell us about it? Yeah, absolutely. For the last 20 plus years, uh, a disease, a challenging disease like Alzheimer's disease, never really had a therapy that can really slow the progression. So this is really good news for the 6 million Alzheimer's patients in America that we finally have something that is potentially disease modifying or neuroprotective. In June of 2021, the drug Eduhem or Edukenumab was approved. I'm very happy to report that we've been chosen as one of the center, uh, Hawaii Memory Center and the Alzheimer's Research Unit. So we can now for the very first time in Hawaii, they can get access to this medication for free because it's provided as part of the clinical trial. Be closely monitored because of the side effects in the clinical trial by experienced neurologists and uh, experienced research team. You've worked with some of these patients. Talk about the reaction from some of the people you've worked with that have gone through this process. Yeah, for example, this morning, I spoke to a gentleman and his son from Maui. They're really excited. They're gonna be flying to Oahu to our memory center to see us. And we're very happy to talk to them about the diagnosis so important to know what is Alzheimer's, what to expect, how does it affect the family, and also what are the options available. So they see I am the luckiest doctor in Hawaii. I get to see these patients and make the small difference in their life. You know, when I started my career, it, it was a decade of the brain when everybody was just trying to look at how do we fix a stroke? How do we get people to function better? But looking back, we have came such a long way because we have gone from just kind of treating the symptoms to really disease modifying or neuroprotective where we're actually slowing the progression, reversing things and changing the course of the disease where we can actually even looking at potential cure for one of the most challenging diseases like Alzheimer's disease. It is so gratifying for us and I really believe the exciting times are really ahead for myself and for the for the physicians, the young younger physicians coming up to me. How do people find more information on disease modifying therapy here in Hawaii? We invite uh, our patients and their families and their friends to call us at the Hawaii Memory uh, Disorder Center or the Alzheimer's Research Unit at 808-564-6141 or go to our website www.hawaiineuroscience.com. Mahalo. Sponsored by Hawaii Pacific Neuroscience. Welcome to High Now. Joining us is Uli Hoshlocker, and we're talking about Father's Day, but I want to take you back to when you were seven years old, Uli, because this is when you had your first kind of climate smart aha moment. Tell us about it. My dad took my mom, my sister, me all over the world because he was introducing a new application in paint that actually withstands climatic breakdown. I was seven years old when he taught me our skin surface layers also changing in different climates. Uli, can you tell me about uh, some other inspirational father figures that you had in your life? Joseph Henry, he's the father of 
the weather forecast, the modern scientific way to predict the weather. And then there is Prasanta Chandra Mahalanobis. He was a brilliant scientist who took that weather data and started to make real research of how it affects humans' health and well-being. We are honoring these scientists on June 28th, National Climate Smart Skin Awareness Day. I always show my hands to show what you need in Hawaii in this hot tropical climate is very different than if you would be in Las Vegas. So on this hand, I use Climate Smart Skin Care and on this one, just a regular moisturizer and look at that huge difference, that amazing results I got really with matching my anti-aging skincare to the climate I'm actually in. That's how you get results. It's not ethnicity, it's not age, it's not gender. It's really the local climate you live in. Uli, you have a very special offer that you have happening right now. Tell us about it. Well, you actually get four products. These are our rotating day creams. These are the only one in the world. They're protected by 10 patents. They won Time Magazine Invention of the Year. Step number one, our hydrating balancer, specifically made for these very humid conditions you are in. Step number two is our serum. It makes your smart skin even smarter, climate smart in Hawaii. And then you lock it all in with the day cream of the day. Just scan the QR code on the top, like you do your menu in the restaurant. It tells you immediately what day cream to use. This is our new tropical moisture burst mask. We put it all in for this month or our um, summer smart essential kit instead of $214, just $99, free shipping, 100% money back guarantee. You have nothing to lose. Just use the code summer and then it's $115 is taken off from $214 to $99. I mean, it's almost, you can't miss that. <laughs> Don't forget to go over to the Home in the Islands concert that's happening tonight. You want to make sure you get your tickets, and it's so easy to do. Take a look at that QR code and scan it with your phone. You can get tickets yep. to this incredible concert. 5 o'clock, those doors open. 5.30 is going to be the pre-show, and then entertainment all night long. Get so over here is going to be awesome. That's right. And right now, I'm going to get a little preview of what's going to be happening tonight. Closed captioning for Hawaii News Now on KGMB is sponsored by Kapili Solar Roofing. Building peace of mind, one roof at a time.